In this video, I'm going to show you how to use J4X for backtesting. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to open up your J4X on desktop. And then after you do that, go ahead and hit the view button up top over here. And then at the very bottom, you can see the penultimate thing says strategy tester. Click on this strategy tester over here. And over here is basically where you can do backtesting inside J4X. So first, you're going to have to select your strategy. So over here, of course, for example, this is going to be an example strategy and then you want to click on open here you can do visual mode you can go ahead and show messages if you want to and then of course you can go ahead and set different metrics over here like uh, of course for example the time period if there you want to have ticks one minute one hour or one day if you want to process all ticks or just basically specific ones over here and by the way if some things are missing in here like there are for me you can just basically make this a bit bigger there we go and then down here once you've done all that you can see you can uh, set the custom settings as well there's a bunch of them and here you can of course see basically how much it's processed and then here you have your speed so you can go from minimum to maximum and then once you are ready just hit the start button over here and then you have to read this disclaimer and if you agree click on I agree and then over here you can see the template over here it's going to be a default preset or of course you can open one up if you have any of the presets and here you have to select the instrument the take profits the default stop losses and then the selected period we're gonna do 20 seconds and then you want to click run over here and it's basically going to run your uh, J4X backtest for you. First, it's going to start getting prices and then it's going to start and then you'll be able to see the backtesting of your strategy. So as you can see over here, it's now loading data and once the data is loaded, it's going to basically start backtesting. Now, of course, you want to optimize this as much as possible. I just did it very quickly, as you can see over here. Doesn't really make much sense, but of course, this is how you actually do it. And then it's going to basically allow you to see these results. You want to click on where you want to open them, and that's going to be pretty much it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.